Line and column charts can quickly get too busy to make sense of. A great alternative is to put data in small multiples, or panel charts as they're also known. There are various techniques for creating small multiples, from lots of individual charts to more complex charts with error bars. In this video, I'm going to share a dead easy technique that will have you up and running with your own panel charts quickly. The key is in the layout of the chart source data. Notice there's a spare row above and below each region. This spare row prevents the chart plotting one continuous line, and the extra white space gives each region a more defined area without the need for vertical lines to separate them. Now I should also point out the gap on row 32. This prevents the horizontal axis including a tick mark in the last region, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. So first I'm going to select the year and the value series, including the gap row. We're just going to insert a regular 2D line chart. Now I need to edit the ranges, so right click, select data. First we need to include the region in our axis labels. So let's select north, right through to gap, including the year. You can see our regions are included and you can see that translates through to the chart behind. Let's edit the actual value series. We'll give it the series name value cell. And here I need to actually replace this range because it doesn't include the first cell. I'm going to delete it, select the first cell in the value range right through to the gap row and click OK. Now notice that we have this tick mark in our horizontal axis and it includes gap. So I want to scroll down here and deselect gap. I'm going to leave it in but I'm just deselecting it and you'll see when I click OK it's now hidden but we've maintained this space after the last 2019 year. Now I can remove the grid lines to give it a cleaner look. Another thing we can do to reduce noise is to delete the years between 2015 and 2019 in the horizontal axis. So all I need to do is select them in the source data and press delete and repeat for each region. And you can see now it's much cleaner and we can just infer the years between 2015 and 2019. Lastly, we'll give it a label. And that's it. Easy, huh? Now the benefit of building small multiples or panel charts using this technique is that the vertical axis is the same for all of the series. And that's essential for comparing the regions on a common scale. You can obviously add more regions as required or whatever categories you happen to have. Now this technique isn't limited to line charts. You can use it for column charts or combo charts like this area and line combo chart. Another option is to include the data for each series in all panels with just the series specific to each panel highlighted. This allows the reader to see the categories in the context of the others. I hope you can make use of these techniques. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.